Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is a slightly different question I have received from one of the subscriber. First let me explain what is the question is about, then we will see how to resolve this problem statement. So the question is, we are provided with a table which contains xy coordinates of certain points. So the expectation is, we need to write a SQL or a query to find out the symmetric set. So two points are said to be symmetric if x of point 1 is equal to y of point 2 and x of point 2 is equal to y of point 1. So then these two points are said to be symmetric. So in this case point P1 and P2 are symmetric because the x is equal to y and similarly the y is e of point 1 is equal to x of point 2 right so sometimes whenever we get a question like this it is better to visually represent and see and understand the question so that it is very easy to resolve the problem statement see many times when we understand the question very clearly it is very much easy to resolve the problem statement in fact this is one such question like that okay now let's see how to visually represent this question and understand okay suppose if you want to plot the point 1 and point 2 in a graph let us take a very simple graph something like this and we'll try to plot the point 1 and point 2 so let's try to plot the point 1 so the point 1 x is 1 and y is 2 so generally we'll plot something like this x is 1 and y is 2 so here is where we will plot the point 1 similarly if you want to plot the point 2 so for point 2 x is 2 and y is 1 so x is 2 and y is 1 so we will go and plot somewhere here right now these two points are said to be symmetric if the x of point 1 is equal to y of point 2 for example this is x of one point and this is y of another point so if these two things are equal and the y value that is let's say this length and this length if these things are exactly equal then these two points are said to be symmetric set okay so sometimes if we try to visually represent a problem statement then it is very much easy for us to understand and resolve this statement now let's see how to resolve this problem statement using sql so first i'm trying to create a table called t and i'm just populating all these sample data into this table right it is populated let me try to query from the table select star from t right we are able to see all the sample data set here let us see the first method how to resolve in fact this is one of the easiest method to resolve this problem statement so let's say select star from t let's select x and y so basically our intention is to compare two point and while comparing we need to compare the x of point 1 with the y of point 2 and vice versa so now we are just selecting x and y right so let me let me execute it now we are selecting x and y now our intention is to compare it like this select star from t where y comma x in make it as a inner query right now if you see we are comparing the x y against y x combination right so let me just make it like order by one now if you see p1 and p2 are symmetric set similarly p3 and p4 are symmetric set and p7 and p8 are symmetric set yes so this is the first method in fact this is in this method i'm using the multi column subquery and in fact this is one of the example where the multi column subquery can be very effectively used let's see the second method of implementation method 2 right so in this method what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use a self join so let me take a two copies of the same table let's give the alias as t1 for one table and let's say t2 for another then let's say where so this is the main condition t1.x is equal to t2.y and 
t2.x is equal to t1.y. Yeah. Now t1.y. Yes. Now we just need to select from any one of the table, either from t1 or you can select from the t2 table. In case if the point is having the same values, for example, in for p3 and p4, the point of x and y are 6 and 6. So that's that's why we are able to see like multiple record here. So we'll use a distinct keyword to remove the duplicate. Right. So let me put order by order by the set name so that we got the symmetric set. So in this case, like P1 and P2 are symmetric set. Similarly, P3 and P4 are symmetric set. Similarly, P7 and P8 are symmetric set. So this is the second method of resolving this problem statement. Let's see one more method of resolving this thing. Let's see method three. So here what I'm going to do is, so this is also quite similar to the method two only. So select star from T, let me just give alias as T1, where exist select one from T, let me give alias as T2, where almost the same condition. So let me just copy paste from the method two here, right? So let me put order by set name, it is order by the first column. So in the third method, we are actually using the correlated subquery, right? Let's see one more method of resolving this problem statement. Method four. So let me say select star from T1, T, I'm just giving us alias as T1, comma, lateral, select star from T, T2, where, let me just paste the same condition here. Right, so let's say order by one, and this is also very similar to the second method only. So let me say t1 dot star. I just want from t1 table. Let me use the distinct keyword. Right, so this is also giving almost the same result. Now, if you see, we just resolve this problem statement by four different methods. In fact, this can be resolved with even some other methods also. So the first method basically we have used the a multi column subquery in the second method we have used the self join and in the third method we have used the correlated subquery and in the fourth method we have used the lateral join so here is the query for your reference the first method we are using the multi column subquery and in the second method we are using the self join and in the third method we are using the correlated subquery and in the fourth method i am using the lateral join in fact most of these things have already covered in the uh, few of the earlier videos for example if you want to understand how the multi-column subquery work, you can watch this video. If you want to understand how the correlated subquery work, you can watch this video. And if you want to understand how the lateral uh, join will work, you can watch this video. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. But before that, you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series. If you are not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I will be happy to record and post as a new video. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video. Please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel. Thank you.